Howdy y'all. I wanted to go over my day pack. This is a single day pack. Um, for those of you that are getting in, that are new to getting into the outdoors, um, just kind of wanted to show you my setup. And this setup has worked for me. I mean, it's been, it's been modified over the years, but this just seems to work best. So let's get into it. Um, this is my my headlamp pouch. So it's just a little tiny pouch. I think it's made by yeah Voodoo Tactical. And I just put that on there just to you know show that that's the that is the headlamp pouch. This is a Black Diamond Storm. I've had it for about six years and it's it's running strong. The batteries last a long time. It's been a great piece of equipment. It's got strobe. It's got the single bright light in the middle. These two little guys. And then a low light red setting. Um, so again, really good product right here. It's lasted a long time. I'm sure there's newer versions of it out, but uh, this one just keeps on kicking. Other than that, on the outside, this is the the Gerber LMF, and great knife. Uh, the, the sheath has you can see there that slit. It has a sharpener specifically for this blade so even if you don't know how to use you know a sharpener or you're or you're new to it uh, that thing will get this blade sharp every single time and what i did on the sheath here just put a little bit of paracord it's a good enough length to get some use i would imagine one of these days uh, if i ever needed it over here carabiner um i mean people use carabiners for all kinds of stuff uh, just a good little piece of equipment to have handy if you ever need it. This bungee cord, you know, if you get out hiking and you're wearing a jacket or some kind of insulating layer, it gets too hot outside. That's what I use this for. I can take that layer off of, of myself and attach it to my pack. And that way I'm not carrying it around or tying a jacket around my waist or whatever. Um, I'm sure you're wondering what the horseshoe is. <laughs> I found that out in the desert a long time ago, and it's been on this pack ever since. And I had somebody tell me, you know, you're never going to use that thing. And at the time, I was like, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll figure it out. There's going to be some kind of use for that. So one day, I was at a pretty heavily used campsite outside of Taos, New Mexico. And all of the reachable dead branches in the trees had been pulled down by previous campers for firewood so I didn't have any firewood so what I did was I attached a length of rope to this horseshoe and used it as a grappling hook I shot that thing up in the trees and was pulling down dead branches left and right and I had me a big old fire that evening so other than that in here this is this area is mainly to fill the bag up with water but I keep I call them bush rags but I guess people call them a shamog but I keep one of those in there again that's another great piece of equipment to have you can filter water with it you can use it as a towel use it as a pillow use it as a tourniquet uh, they come in all different colors you can use it as a scarf obviously that's what people use it uh, for the most I would imagine but really good and cheap piece of equipment to have just a big old piece of cloth I keep an EpiPen in here I found out last summer that I'm extremely allergic to yellow jackets it nearly put me in the hospital so ever since then I keep one of these in my pack other than that like I said that's where you fill up on the water the larger exterior pocket it, it doesn't hold a lot but I keep if I can get it out of there a compass um, typically I am pretty well oriented wherever I'm wherever I'm at but it's just one of those things you just want to keep in there with you um, so it's just it just works for me um, like I said I hardly ever use it but it's it's good to have <clears throat> it does have a, a magnifying glass on there I suppose you can make fires with it Maybe I'll do a video on that one next, how to make a fire with a magnifying glass. Anyways, 
again in that last video you guys probably saw my fire making kit in there we've got matches which I almost never use magnesium flakes these things will get a fire going quick even if even if it's uh, your material is semi damp uh, these things it's kind of an emergency thing for me I I almost never use it but uh, it's there if I need it so that stays in there this is my number one right here is a ferro rod um, if you look at my one of my previous videos it's how to get a fire started using just this and natural materials super helpful thing to have in your pack I recommend one of these to everybody other than that we've got this is just fire starter a little piece of it you can buy it at the store or wherever but it burns hot and it burns long and uh, it'll help you out if you're having a tough time getting your fire going and dryer lint it's fibrous it's soft it's really good tinder in this other pocket got a small med kit um, I keep all kinds of stuff in there extra contact lenses uh, bandages I mean pretty much anything you can think of oh uh, there's a, a product called new skin it's it's basically antiseptic super glue for open wounds uh, so that that stays in there as well uh, gauze medical tape things of that nature are what live in there um, gotta have toilet paper just in case and these are just spare batteries I've got double A's and CR 123's double A's for my headlamp CR 123's for the light that is mounted on my pistol um, on the back side here this is where the hydration pack goes but I'm able to cram a couple MREs in there so it's just emergency food again I almost never use it but if I need a snack in a hurry and I'm, and I'm far from my truck or far from whatever I can bust those out and have something to eat and what every pack should have in my opinion is at least a life straw and it, chances are you've probably heard of this before but it's it's really convenient if you don't want the bulk of say like a pump water filter like a K9 uh, you can use one of these I mean you can fill up your Nalgene bottle with stream water and put this in your Nalgene bottle and you have fresh water right there or you can drink directly from a stream or even a pond uh, these things rock and they're they're pretty cheap for what they are and if you're just getting into this I would highly recommend getting a life straw awesome product and it could save your life so I didn't mention before but this this is the Blackhawk Hydra Storm. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the model is. They don't make it anymore. I, I bought this pack something like 12 years ago, and it's been on just about every adventure with me since. Um, but it's not about the pack, it's about what's in it. So hopefully, you guys were, were able to learn something about how to put together just a day pack. Um, if you've really had to stretch it, you could make this last two or three days you would have to build you know your own shelter and kind of find your own warmth it wouldn't be comfortable but you can you can fit enough in a small pack like this uh, to last you you know a couple days if needed um, so yeah it's good good emergency pack it's I keep it in my truck all the time and uh, yeah if you guys are again trying to get into camping and learning what you need and you're trying to go a, a minimalistic approach about it this is the way to go I, I see people going out on you know one or two day or I'm sorry three day camping trips and they've got this big giant crazy bag but if you can if you can learn to minimalize what you have in your bag and what you actually need to bring with you then the pack the, the, the pack is going to be super light it's not going to be strenuous to carry around you can go farther and be more comfortable in the long run
So, anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it and plan on making some more videos uh, pretty soon here. Thanks for watching.